Hello, hello. What is going on, my friends? Patrick here. You know, a few things in life make me happier than a simple to use plugin. Nothing too complicated. You just throw it on and it instantly makes your music sound better and you can't really explain why. The fewer the knobs, the better, I always say. I'm only partially kidding. But when Lander released their five new effects plugins, I instantly thought, oh, one knob. This is going to be great. And listen, while they may look pretty basic and minimal, these plugins are actually really versatile. And each of these five plugins are designed to complement a different part of your mix. So let's hop into Logic. I want to show you this tune that I'm working on right now and how I'm using the Lander Effects Suite plugins to enhance different parts of my mix. Thank you to my friends at Lander for supporting this channel and sponsoring today's video. As always, even though Lander sponsored the video, they do not sponsor my opinion. Lander are offering a free trial, so visit the description for more info there. There, but let's hop into the DAW. So first we're gonna check out Lander Effects Acoustic. And Lander says, add everything from dark ambiance to sparkling definition to your guitar, pianos, violins, and everything acoustic. Bring out the best in your acoustic tracks with 50 presets for EQ, dynamics, effects, and more. So if we hop into Logic, this is a tune that I'm working on with my homie 1G West right now. On this track, I don't really have like an acoustic guitar or an acoustic piano. I have this little part down here, which is just kind of some piano octaves. But I think the acoustic effects plugin might sound cool on this keys part right here. Sounds really good. Let's check out some of these presets. That's cool. It's like a little side chain kind of effect. It's like some digital noise or something. These are really cool. So with each of these plugins, you're gonna see three knobs, input, output, and then your blend knob. What's nice about a simple plugin like this is if you're just kind of getting started and you're starting to produce and mix your own music, this can take a lot of the guesswork out of working with different effects, EQ, stuff like that. And personally, I find, even though I feel a little more comfortable mixing and producing and working with effects and EQ and compression, I find that plugins like this are a really useful workflow tool. A lot of times you can slap a plugin like this on one of your tracks and arrive at that sound that you're envisioning in your head really quickly, which will then allow you to move on to different areas of songwriting or your creative process and not spend too much time dialing in a little specific sound that you're hearing in your head. With this menu on the right hand side, you have all of these different creative presets. It seems like they're kind of a combination of a bunch of different effects. As we go over to different menus, you can see you have a menu of just different reverb options. You have a bunch of different delays. Here we have some more effects. And you also have some different EQ options here. So let's check some of these out. Very cool. I really dig that. So essentially you have these creative presets which are combining multiple effects, but then you also have the option to just use single effects and EQ if you'd like. Next up we have the Lander Effects Electric. And Lander says, punch up your electric guitar and synth leads with 50 tailored presets for everything from crunch and grit to smooth and spatial effects. Lander Effects Electric helps your leads stand out the way they should. I love it. Excited to check this out. I have this guitar part on the hook of this song, and I think it's the perfect track to test out this plugin. So let's take a listen. That's pretty cool. Kind of 
kind of like an old tape machine vibe. That's actually a nice preset. This scoop pop takes all the mid range out. Nice. Little reverb and tremolo. I like that one. Then we have a bunch of reverbs, delay. Nice. Tons of different effects. We'll check that out in a second. And then some EQs, which is great. Nice. Yeah, that's great. Those simple EQ presets where you don't got to find the right frequency. It'll just kind of address it for you. That's, that's really cool. Let's look at some of these effects. That's really cool. It's a really good phaser. Nice. So it seems like some of these effects plugins are multiple effects kind of built into one preset as well. So that's really cool. These effects sound really good. I'm really impressed. So let's move on. Later effects bass really need this one with this track because the bass part I have, I've got some nice punchiness, but I'm really missing some nice low end. So I'm hoping this Lander FX bass plugin can help me out. Lander says, get the deep low end you crave. I'm craving it with over 40 presets to help you with your tonal shaping, compression, effects, and everything bass, drive your tracks with thick and juicy 808s or funky bass slaps. So we got a little bit of a funkier bass part on this tune, and I definitely need a little bit more low end out of this bass part. So let's see if we can find something that works. This Bright Frets preset is really nice. I don't need it on this bass part, but I usually find that with my bass parts, I want them to have a little bit more of that mid-range or like high mid presence. So this is a really good preset. I'm definitely gonna use that in the future. Now this plugin is a little bit different than the ones that we looked at before because here we have mix tools, amp effects, and modulation effects as our different menus. This amp effects menu is really useful because I usually record bass DI, so. Really cool effects. I really dig this one. Yeah, this more sub preset was exactly what I was looking for. Lander Effects Beats was the first plugin that I tried. And when I had originally demoed this tune, I just threw some drum loops together. And it's always just felt to me like it needed a little extra something. So I threw on Lander Effects Beats, and the drum beat already started to feel better to me. 
Lander describes this plugin by saying, add impact and groove to the foundation of your mix, sculpt the perfect kick, or completely transform your drums with 46 presets for everything from smoothie cue to tight, punchy compression to explosive saturation. I really like this room preset. Just kind of brings out the live feel of this drum part. You've got different menus for different kit pieces. You got EQ. Some different effects and i love that lander have created presets that work for the entire drum kit like in this example but they also have different presets for kit pieces like your kick snare cymbals so if we come up here to this snare and hi-hat sample that i'm using check out some of these snare presets Really solid plugin, helped me out a lot with this tune because like I said, this drum sample just needed a little extra something, a little extra icing on the cake, and Lander Effects Beats was the one. So let's move on to Lander Effects Voice. Lander says, let your voice take center stage in your mixes. Polish, smooth, and control your vocals with everything from tastefully tailored EQs to epic reverb to full-on distortion with over 40 curated presets. So we've got a couple of different lead vocals here, myself and 1G West. Now I've got my vocal kind of in a good spot right now, but let's take all of this processing off and just take a listen to the raw vocal recording. And it gets away from me I thought it was plain to see Super dry and muddy sounding. I actually just recorded this vocal part sitting right here using this SM7B. Not how I would usually track vocals, but it just kind of happened that way with this tune. But let's throw on Lander Effects Voice and see if there's anything we can do to bring some character out of this vocal performance. And it gets away from me I thought it was plain to see And why don't you stay with me I like that one I'm here waiting patiently And it gets away from me I thought it was plain to see And why don't you stay with me Whoa I'm here waiting patiently. This plugin seems to have the most in it. There's a lot of different menus. You can use this as an EQ. You can use it for reverb. You can use it for delay. You can use it for compression, saturation. They've got some different effects. And it gets away from me. I thought it was plain to see. Really cool. And why don't you stay with me? That's really cool. I'm here waiting patiently. I do want to hear what this Rap God preset sounds like, though, so let's take a listen. Just to know what you want if you don't know what you need You won't know that it's gone until you figure out that it's me I thought that we had a bond, it was broken, I had to leave I'll be up at the crack of dawn cause I still ain't gonna sleep, I guess Really cool, that is just the plugin by itself I've got a little pitch correction going, but no other effects 
Yeah, I really like this plugin. I love that there's presets for singers, presets for rappers, different effects you can use. This is definitely gonna be one of the ones in the plugin suite that I use the most. Now, the last thing I wanna do is give you a taste for how this mix is sounding with the Lander Effects Suite plugins and without, so take a listen. this Lander FX plugin suite. Right now you can snag these plugins for 30 bucks a pop or you can buy the entire suite for $99. I think it's a really fair price and it's a really good deal considering all that you can do with these plugins. Definitely share your thoughts with me in the comments below. Let me know what you think of these plugins. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you to my friends at Lander again for sponsoring today's video, but I will catch all of you in the next video. Peace.